So this is a, a photo of a building in Burgundy, France. And in the Middle Ages, it was used as a charter house, which is a place for the sick, particularly during the time of the Black Death. They, they had the people that were afflicted sleeping two to a bed. And this house has been preserved and again, it's in Burgundy, France. And our topic today is on advising. And when we think of the advising process, uh, we start with a concept called current situation. What's going on now? And, and that includes a lot of things such as the context, current medical history, what happened in the past, what's going on in the present, and, and concepts like that. Two key ones are the medical history and the anatomy. So medical history includes such things as allergies, uh, medicines you're taking, uh, any illnesses you've had in the past, surgery in the past, anything that could be related to uh, uh, the surgery you're going to have or anticipating. The other key aspect is the anatomy, and particularly the anatomy that relates to the uh, procedure or body part you're thinking about having. The other aspect of the advising process is focusing on what you want so both you're clear on that one and we're clear on what you want. And another way of saying the same thing is we want to know what your goals are, what your outcomes are, and what you envision, what your vision of the future is. When these two aspects are completed, we have uh, the situation and we understand what you want, then we focus on uh, recommendations. And the other two elements will point to what's uh, the outcome for you, what's in your best interest. And uh, usually that just comes together as a result of being real clear on the other two aspects. Now in the future we'll cover uh, other aspects of the advising process. For now I would just like to thank you for taking the time and uh, spending it with me and I do appreciate that very much. And my name is Robert Kenevan and thank you again.